There's always another laser reflecting puzzle game. Hey, this one just starts, huh? Hey, we're trying Lizer today. Probably a phone game. Judging by super minimal presentation, the fact that it just launches directly into the game, and that there's an on-screen... Yeah, all these bubble interface elements here. The fact that, yeah, the, and there's a mute button. Yep, this is probably on, like, iPads and stuff. Alright. Which is fitting enough for this kind of format. Oh, these are starting off super simple, huh? Interesting that it takes a moment to charge. I'm wondering if there's... Oh. Yeah, time to answer that question. What does it mean when I... Ah, it's, it seems it's sa to stay charged. Okay. I was thinking maybe it's a verification system that you can maintain your solution for long enough, which is a thing that's used in Rethink Evolved and in uh, Auditorium. But it seems you just have to charge them for a moment. Interesting. It's got black on the outside, so I guess it doesn't reflect beams. So there's a new mechanic. Hello. Huh. I guess the reflection tech might, might be a little minimal. If it all disappears when you rotate an unrelated thing, that's a little weird. Alright. Now we want to keep that. Wait, where's the beam? Oh, the beam's coming from here. Whoops. Got all mixed up. There's one. And there's the other one. Well, that's not getting anything done. One down. Two down. I'm waiting... I'm waiting for the... For it to make me think a little more. It's definitely... Pretty brief puzzle so far. In fact, by its design, you can kind of quickly just kind of flip through all the possibilities without even questioning them that much. In a game like Rethink or Auditorium, when you see this many targets, it's because you need to simultaneously keep all of them powered at the same time. But this one's taking a different approach. Okay, I'm, unlock I'm unlocking achievements constantly. I already have 13 out of 39 achievements. Let me check here. Huh. <clears throat> I'm a little worried about this game. Alright, the achievements are A, B, C, D, blah, 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 all the way to Z, then 0 through 9, then pound sign or the hashtag or whatever and then exclamation point. And then I guess you beat the game? Huh. This might be a distressingly brief affair. Yeah, this is just... You just toggle each one one by one. Hey, something new's happening. All right. But how new is it? I guess instead of, instead of rotating, you slightly extend a mirror. 
Okay. There's at least now more combinations, I suppose. When I say the achievement names are worrying, it's just that it seems like a total lack of names for them just seems a little weird. Like them just naming all of the achievements a series of, of consecutive symbols and that's it. So if I shoot it that way, it goes into nothing. If I shoot it that way, it goes into nothing. So it seems like I have no choice but to keep this extended. There we go. That's got a black outline, so it just stops the beam entirely. So it's pointless to leave this like this, but we could do this. It probably does something. That's one down. One more down. Gotta find our way all the way up there somehow. That's unhelpful. Ah, oh, there's that one. There we go. Come on. I'm already tired of this style of level. I've only I haven't even been playing for ten minutes yet. Don't don't do that. It's just a waste of time. I'm like, oh, I do this one, then that one. Then. Like they've done that multiple times now where it's like it's not even a puzzle, it's just press them in order and just wait. Which it, it makes you really start realizing how long it takes for the thing to fill. Because you're like, come on, just do it. End. Hello. This laser's gone crazy. Is this one just useless? It seems like it doesn't ever... Oh, that one extends that way. Whoops. We're at the letter T now. That's, that's pretty late in the alphabet, right? That's a lot of bounces. Can I move something down here? These reflections seem like they'll just make it go nowhere.
There's one. There's two. There we go. So these are just all useless. A brief distraction. Just bounces like crazy in this little loop where you can't interact with it. Then it starts here. It's actually more cost effective to check the combinations real quick than it is to actually try to trace the line out because the path it takes is so chaotic that I just, I, it's faster just to click and give it a go. Okay, so black stops it, white, white reflects it. New mechanic. We're at level up. We're at level W already. Holy crap! God. <laughs> All right. This is a lot of combinations. Oh boy. Moderately terrifying number of bounces. All right. doesn't seem to line up the way you would expect to make it go there. Oh, but that also doesn't line up the right way. There's gotta be like an incredibly slightly different bounce that will make it not hit there and end up going there. Agony when it reaches when it hits the ends and it just bounces nowhere. I recreated that solution on accident. Yeah, it doesn't go there. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> There's so many moving parts. All right. Now we're back to almost instantly getting half the solutions. Hmm. Alright, time to see... 
how many of the things in this cosmic space are what I need to change. Well, this has to always... This always has to be this one. This configuration is like a pointless choice, because by default it just blocks it with black, which is just useless. There's no reason to want to just let it die. Like, the alternative is just to not go in, not to do anything. Oh, that's what it's for. Right, never mind. That's my B. Oh boy. so much to look at. Alright. Uh, let's loop you back around here. There we go. And there's both of them. That's that's the one path I was missing. There we go. Now, welcome to level... We just, we just beat level zero. Now we're on level one. We beat the entire alphabet. So we're in like the last... We're actually already in the last ten levels of the entire game. Okay, we're, we're about 16 minutes in. There we go. We're nearly there. Uh, probably want to bounce this off of this. That'd be boop, 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 boop. Oh, there it is. You can actually trace them backwards oftentimes. Oh boy. The first check is just talk a lot of them on and off because the one that points that way and the trajectory is going to be what gets it. I, fir I say first step, that might be literally the entire puzzle. It's, yeah, I think it is. It's just recognizing which one points at the, at the circle and then clicking on that one. Man, we're in the last ten puzzles. You gotta have better ideas than that at this point, right? Alright, we're at three. see why I'd ever use that. We do. I don't go there. <laughs> It has to get here, which is has to come from here then, right? Then here. It had to get, get there from there, so it'd be here probably. Or here. 
There it is. Yeah, if you get lost in all the noise, you can just trace it backwards from the destination. And that usually fixes it. Probably like this, 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 this. No, oh, here maybe. And that that doesn't. Mm -hmm. My path is not quite getting solutions this time. Might be too many bounces for me to accurately chart on a grid with my mouse. There we go. That's the one. Come on, man. These are literally a waste of time. It's it's actually just kind of mind-numbing to wait for the thing to charge up when you're like, all I did was point, click on the obvious thing here. All of these things should be just, they're superfluous, just delete them and make me solve the one part of this level that's actually a puzzle. If there is one, we'll see. Like this one looks like it threatens to almost be a puzzle. A lot, yeah, only this one point, basically, right? Yeah, this hyper-specific spot. Let's see. But that just goes into space. Turning any of the center ones just sends it backwards because it's coming from left to right. If you make a loop forever, it reaches this far left one, at which point it bounces off the top guy and either goes into space there or space there. I don't think there's a way to. You can't intercept that. Hmm. actually something kind of interesting going on here isn't there because it always 
Turning any of these around makes the beam go left. And my beam was to make it go the most right it's ever been. How do I make it go righter than ever before? Like any of these being turned makes it bounce. Oh, there it goes. Right, because of the two squares. I should have seen that actually. That's level six down, so we're on seven. It'll be seven, eight, nine, zero, then two symbols. So last six levels. One more down. Two down. Needs to reach here, probably by going like this. How do I deflect this? Oh, right, that guy. I didn't even notice that guy at first. There we go. Just about there. Well, not quite. Path got weird. One down. Two down. Alright, so probably boom, 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 boom. Hmm. Angle seems off. Oh, because that makes it right. That makes it slightly to the left, which changes the angle. Right. There's a bit of nuance to that particular one. The idea that this changes the width of the platform, which actually means that it changes the reflection angle. God. All right. <laughs> Getting to have a lot of things on the screen again. Which is their seems to be their their idea for complexity. What's rough about playing this game is that you just don't feel aha moments that are kind of the oh god they're doing it again. Stop it. No, this is such a waste of time.
All right, because the beam starts there. There are so a lot of moving parts now. All these are pointless, right? Yeah, they, they're just solutions for the moment. And then after that, they're useless. Is this first one ever useful? No, that's not the that's not the right angle. when you when you rotate it gets cut off which is weird right you would imagine the rotation would be symmetrical but when it rotates this way it hits in a spot where it doesn't that's weird like it's a horizontal line and this should be rotating by 180 degrees or 90 degrees I mean so you expect the left and right parts of it to both be reflective but they're not which is just strange. a lot to follow. Oh boy. Which thing am I not trying? There we go. Oh, because the beam's coming from the right side. I can't. I couldn't tell its travel direction. Yep, that clears all those out. Now I just need to get you to here. Maybe from going here, but I don't know how to get the beam there. Probably from above, but it doesn't line up that way, or does it here? There, there we go. Oh, it's over. That was the last puzzle. And then it just loops back to the first one. Well, that was Lizer. If you want to check this out for whatever reason, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. That was, uh... And disappointing? I don't know, mirror reflection puzzles aren't the most... ...impressive type of indie puzzle game to begin with, because it's, it's a pretty common version. But this one just... ...didn't really have aha moments, and... ...the puzzles were just so... ...straightforward, with only a couple of sticking points, and the sticking points were largely just from... ...wow, that laser bounced so many times, I can't tell what I'm looking at anymore, and then... ...but even those are just a momentary roadblock, and then you're done with them. And then the game's over. 
Well, thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll, I'll see you next time.